back up, please. I'm Dave McBrick, and I'm here to tell you about World War II. It all began after World War I, when the Germans were harshly defeated. They needed a leader. So someone named Adolf Hitler, this is him, came in and got the job done. Hitler was known for many things, like his mustache, for instance. But he was mainly known for leading a group called Nazis, who killed many people. Another leader that led a big group was Joseph Stalin. But both of them killed many of their own people for no re reason. Huh? Oh, hey, these are sandbags. These were used to protect people in wars. I'm going to show you a little video of people using sandbags. I'm here with some soldiers. I'm going to interview them, starting with this one. Which army are you in? I'm in the Nazi army. Really? And what weapon are, are you holding? The MP40, standard submachine gun of the Nazi army. I love it. Oh, well, there you have it. This is... Well, tell us who you are. I'm in an American soldier. My weapon is my favorite. The M1 carbine. Really? Yep, I think it's the best. Well, this is... Well, tell us who you are. I am a Soviet Union soldier. This is my weapon, the Moss Nugget. Signed by Stalin himself. Really? No. Oh. This soldier I know. He's from Great Britain. Wait a minute. You're not Great Britain. I know. I'm Australian. Britain called me in sick. So I came in. We'll call himself sick. And this is my weapon? The SMLE. I don't get it. What? Why would someone name their rifle the Smelly? It's not the se- Ugh. Moving on. This is a standard soldier's backpack. Let's see what's inside of it. I wonder. Ooh, a medal? A map? A radio? A cup? And some binoculars. Well, doesn't seem we need any this anymore. Moving on. I'm going to show you some of the grenades, how to use them, what types there are, and what their differences are. Pretty much the same. This is a Russian stick grenade. This is a stale hand grenade from the Germans. This is a R American frag grenade, and this is MK2 British frag grenade. I'm going to show you how to use a stick grenade. Of course, you got to pick it up first. You unscrew a little thing on the side, located right about here. Take out a pin on the top, and then you throw. For the frag grenade, you just pull out the pin. I'm going to show you some helmets. The one on the left is a st American steel paw, and the one on the left is a stale helm from the Germans. I'm going to show you some rather embarrassing pictures of me wearing them. Moving on. This is a flat cannon. I'm going to show you how it works. Usually someone has a crank to turn you. You just pull this lever, and it should fire. Like this. Bye. There was something I wanted to show you. Let me think. Ah! Huh? What the heck? Hey! What you doing here? And who's going to pick up this mess on the ground? You are? Ugh. You guys watch this little video I made. Oh my... Well, like I was saying, go watch a little video I made while I go pick up this rather horrifying mess.
We need armor support now. <laughs> huh? You guys are leaving? Well, not yet. I haven't shown you some of the flags. This is Italy's. This is the Japanese. This is pretty obvious. This is Great Britain's. This is the Soviet Union's. And this is a Nazi flag. Well, now it's safe to say goodbye! <laughs>